So you're out on a long distance hike or a multi-day backpacking trip and your water filter breaks. That can be kind of a bummer to say the least, but no worries. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you how you can use that same broken water filter to obtain as much clean, clear, fresh, and safe drinking water as you'll need to salvage your trip. Hey there guys, this is John here of course and went out in some of the remote locations that a lot of us absolutely love to adventure in, explore in, just simply get lost in. There are a few things that we need. One of the most critical by far is a reliable and safe source of drinking water and a way to obtain that drinking water. Now there are a lot of methods and devices out there on the market, a lot of different chemicals, things like that. But by far, one of the most common is a good old fashioned pump type filter that I have here. A lot of you guys are uh, probably familiar with this. Uh, you simply hook a hose to one end, put it in the water, uh, hose to the other end, uh, pump the thing up, and voila, you magically have fresh, clean drinking water uh, with none of the nasties in it. So, one of the problems with these, however, is that they are mechanical, and anything mechanical is prone to failure. And I have had these things uh, break on me on occasion, uh, whether it's cracked housings, uh, broken off handle, uh, things can and do go wrong. Now, in the event that that happens, what do we do? Well, the answer is really simple and it's right here waiting for us. All we do on a filter like this is we'll simply take out the important part, which is the filter itself. It unscrews and we have access to the filter which filters out all of those uh, little tiny particles of nasty little bacteria, protozoa, uh, all the little things that are going to make us sick, the things that we don't want. So we take the broken housing, toss that aside, and have the important piece right here. Not a lot can go wrong with this other than it getting clogged up. Um, but as long as you take care of that before you leave home, you're pretty much safe in that area. Now, all we need to round this out here and to make this work is our clean outlet tube here, which I keep in a separate Ziploc bag just to keep it uh, separated from uh, the uh, dirty intake uh, hose, which will tend to get contaminated. Now we're gonna just simply place that hose on the out let section of our filter and it's really quite simple so we've got that on there as you can see we've got the outlet hose on the filter itself we have no uh, none of the mechanical device going on here and this part's really simple all we do is place it in the water now that we have our filter placed inside the water source we can begin the process of getting water through it now, since we don't have any mechanical action helping us pump the water through, we're gonna to have to help get it started. Now, we can do this by simply uh, just applying a little bit of suction to the end of the tube to help get that water flowing. Now that we have water flowing through the tube, we can take our drink container, our water bottle, and place that uh, preferably below the level of the filter. Now, it doesn't have to be below, it just helps it flow a little bit faster. And as you can see, we now have fresh, clean, safe drinking water flowing into our water bottle. Now this is not going to be the fastest method in the world, but it is going to provide you with a reliable and once again, safe method of procuring water for the duration of your trip. Now before we wrap this up here, I did want to mention one important thing. When you're out and about, especially in remote locations, it's always good to have some type of backup system, especially uh, for something as critical as uh, procuring water. Now, whether that's some type of purification tablets or some of the new really lightweight and compact gravity-fed filters out there, or uh, something like uh, the Life Straw, just something simple you can toss in your pack that's going to provide you an emergency backup uh, system. Uh, definitely uh, make sure you carry something like that along. Uh, it could potentially be a trip saver. Um, in fact, a uh, special surprise for you guys, uh, regarding the Life Straw, 
Courtesy of the good people over at EarthEasy, we're actually going to be giving away two of these today. Uh, really simple, all you got to do is leave a comment down in the comment section below the video here, uh, just like you normally would, and at the end of it just say count me in. And uh, here in a couple weeks we'll uh, go ahead and pick a couple winners randomly and get a couple of these uh, live straws out to a couple of you guys to toss in your pack so you got an emergency uh, backup system. So. Uh, anyway, guys, that is all I got for this one, so I uh, hope it's been useful, and before we go, I just wanted to say thank you very much, as always, for your support. Uh, it is vastly appreciated, guys, uh, truly. And until next time, I guess you guys take the best care, and we'll be seeing you real soon.